I am going to show you how you can make an hourlization with the mixer in ODN. Maybe you have seen this uh, room before, I made a transmission video about it, so uh, this hourlization will include transmission from this small office to a large um, industrial hall with some uh, factory noise. The walls and the ceiling and doors and windows have a reduction index. So, I have defined uh, different sources and receivers. Two sources in the, in the hall, which are omnidirectional sources, um, and one source inside of the office, which is a speaking person. Then I have defined two receivers, so we can make uh, two different uh, multi-source hourlization. One uh, outside in the, in the industrial hall and one in the office. We want to uh, first define some jobs that will describe or calculate the impulse response or the binaural impulse response that we need for the hourlization. So we want to include um, three different calculations for each receiver. In the noise hall, we want to use the receiver number one. And the first source here is a factory noise source, uh, the omnidirectional source. And then we'll have to describe uh, where is the receiver looking at. This is very important for the organization because the receiver has to look in the same direction. So we will activate this, that Receiver 1 looks at this source 1, and it is turned on. So, receiver 1. Then also, inside the office, we want the, the receiver number 4. We want this receiver to look at um, source Number two, the the speaking person. From the industrial hall to the office. Here, we again want to use receiver number four, but looking at the speaking person inside the office. Oh, so now we have to take care that it's not using the source in the office. From office to hall, the opposite direction. So we want receiver number one still to look at source in hall, source number one. Um, but we don't want the source to be active, so we press no. Use receiver number one. So we do this for all. So finally we have six jobs. Um, three for, for the receiver placed in the industrial hall with the three different sources and three for the receiver replaced in the office with three different sources and the receiver always looking towards the same source. For the organization purpose, we also want to define uh, which um, media we are, we are listening to the organization at. And we do that in this organization setup. So here you can see it's um, created a binaural impulse response file, which I want to make for this uh, presentation, so it means we're listening to it through headphones. And normally we just use this uh, Subject 21, which is a general uh, headphone and head-related transfer function. Uh, but you can define your own um, if you have some different headphones for the organization. It's also possible to um, make a surround sound. It's also possible to create first-order ambisonic if you click in this box here. But for now we just do the binaural organizations. This is the job list which will then create the binaural impulse response, but we want to 
define the sounds and which sounds is connected with with the uh, which um, jobs in this mixer. So we go up here and say for the for the every job which sound is should be um, included. So if we take all the jobs. I can see some of the description which was typed in the in the job list is is just transferred to this one. Um, and we can see if we click which job we we are talking about. Then I want to um to use some uh, anechoic recordings as input files. So for this one I want a noise um signal. We have a library called this noise signals and just factory noise in general. I can listen to this uh, anechoic file if I press here. So this one is uh, the speaker inside the room. Then in the root there is a voice Voice saving short. We use this one. Can listen to the signal. The In doing so, he became the founder of modern acoustical engineering. He went on to design the acoustics of Boston Symphony Hall. Then, for the last source, we also want a noise signal. And we can take hammer on steel sounds like this as any quick recording and I'll do the same for the other jobs so I've now added all the any quick signals and we can make our first calculation to check the levels etc First it will calculate the jobs and after it will fold the the binaural impulse response with the anechoic signals in the mixer. And I guess this will take around 10 minutes. Okay, so now the, the it's calculated, but we here see in the audiosations that it, it's turned red. This means that the level is much too high. When all the levels are too high, we can go in the to the audiosation setup and put on an overall recording level. And we can set that to minus 70 decibel. And recalculate. This time it will only calculate the audiosations. Then we can uh, listen to um, just the single results from for example, the factory noise in the hall is this a realistic level. I guess it could be. The sound from the speaker in the office, we can listen to this one as well. In doing so, he became the founder of modern acoustical engineering. He went on to design the acoustics of Austin Symphony Hall. Still That's all right. Maybe maybe they're a little low. Then we can listen to this hammer sauce. Okay. I think I'll just take the overall recording level and put it to 65. Recalculate. And check the levels. In doing so, he became the founder of modern acoustical engineering.
I think these are more realistic levels. So then we want to um, make a mix. Um, and we can do that for the office, showing all the free sounds in the office for receiver number four. And there we use source in office, uh, job number two, from hall to office, number three as well. And also convolution number six. Maybe we want um, the hammer to have a delay of uh, maybe three seconds and um, just to hear the difference of the factory noise alone and then maybe we want a delay of six seconds of the speaking source. So we make a mix as well for the the hall outside to listen to the combined organization there and here we want convolution number one, number four and number five. There was no delay on the factory noise and we had a delay of six seconds for the for the speaking person and a delay of three seconds on the hammer on steel. And we try to calculate all of it. And it's not red, so the level is okay. So then the resulting multi-source hourization in the hole. It was not possible to hear the speaking person inside the office. In doing so, he became the founder of modern acoustical engineering. He went on to design the acoustics of Boston Symphony Hall, still considered one of the best halls in music in the world. So I think that was a multi-source hourization example.